I'm joined by RotoWire Senior Golf Writer and DFS Writer of the Year, Len Hochberg, for Olympic Golf Chase or Fade. So, Len, please agree or disagree with the following statements about the Olympic Golf DFS contest. So we've been doing a lot of talk this week about the favorites in the event, and there are six golfers with salaries in excess of $10,000. But the first guy under that number that could be an interesting play is Norway's Victor Hovland. Now, he finished T12 at the Open Championship, won the BMW International Open on the Euro Tour just before that. So chase your fade, Len, that Hovland is a good play at 9900 yeah, Jesse, I think uh, I think he is. And you mentioned Norway. And we when we think of Norway, we think more of the Winter Olympics than the Summer Olympics. But Hovland is a very good option this week. He really has been playing well all summer, as you mentioned. He has just a great tee to green game, tee to green game. Uh, and it is will serve him well on this course. Uh, his short game is is vastly improved. You know, when he came out of college, he came out the same time as Colin Morikawa did. And really, Hovland was the star. Hovland was the bigger name at the time. Uh, he's obviously been bypassed by Morikawa for now. But uh, at $9,900, he it looks like a very strong chase to me. Well, England's Tommy Fleetwood hasn't missed a cut in five events, but he also hasn't finished higher than T-17, which came at the Irish Open on the Euro Tour. So he's averaging a 32nd place finish over that span. But at just 8,600, Chaser Fade that Fleetwood could be part of a winning lineup. Yeah, Tommy Fleetwood has been one of the more visible guys, the golfers, uh, in, in from the uh, Olympics. He's been in the Olympic Village. We've seen him on social media. He's been embracing the Olympic experience. It looks like he's having a great time, which I think is important. I think if you're going to go over there and, and really enjoy yourself, it could translate to better golf. But as you said, his golf has not been great lately. Uh, this is a small field. It's only 60 players. There's no cut. Can, to uh, can Tommy Fleetwood be part of a winning lineup, you asked? Yes. Do I think he can really contend and win? No, but he could certainly be at $8,600, really roughly around the 15th choice in the field numbers wise. I think he can be part of a winning lineup. Okay, Len, where are you chasing DFS value in this field? You know, we're hearing a lot about Corey Connors, the Canadian. A lot of people like him. I like him, but I really like his countryman, Mackenzie Hughes. Mackenzie Hughes has had a terrible season, but a great summer. He's really come on strong lately. He's $8,000, very sound uh, short game, which could overcome any weakness uh, from the fairway for him and off the tee. Uh, I like both Belgians, and that's not a sentence I thought I would utter too many times in life, but uh, Thomas Peters at $8,100, he was fourth in the Rio games, and at $7,500, Thomas Detry, who uh, has been all or nothing lately, he uh, has two runners, in his last five starts, two runners up, three missed cuts, that's quite a full house, but I like him, and getting into the 6,000s, Ashen Wu, the Chinese star, uh, he plays mostly on the European tour, tour, so he is in stronger competition. And lastly, and I don't do this often, all the way down at $6,000, the very bottom, Rafael Campos, he plays on the PGA Tour, he's representing uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, he is not a good golfer by PGA Tour standards, but by lesser tour standards, I think his price is way low. I would have seen him around 65, maybe 66. So I think he can add value to a lineup at a very obviously cheap price. All right, finally, Len, who is your favorite to bring home gold in Tokyo? Yeah, uh, I'm going to go back to what we were talking about earlier and say Victor Hovland. Uh, he just seems to be coming close so many times. A lot of guys have ups and downs and good weeks and bad weeks. He's really there every week. And again, he's, he's played in international competitions many times before representing Norway. I think that counts for a lot this week. His game is well suited for this course. And he's even $9,900, which is, keeps you out of the five-figure guys. I think uh, Victor Hovland can certainly medal and even come away with gold this week. 